As the final release is getting closer and closer, Android 12 builds are getting refined. All the features are finalized for the release, so no new additions will be made from now on. Each and every update from now on will be targeting the bugs and will come with improved performance and stability. Because the official release is just one or two releases away. So let's see what is the status of this GSI based on Android 12 Beta 4.1 and also let's see how to flash this particular GSI on any triple supported smartphone. So this is Arrow, welcome to my channel. First of all, the most awaited feature which is the Android 12 easter egg is live in this build. And surprisingly, it also came with the Android 12 material UI theming design. Which means the colors of this easter egg change according to the colors of our wallpaper. Next, the overall performance is also improved pretty much and the performance is very snappy in this particular build. In my previous videos, users complained that they are not able to find the colors option in the wallpapers and theming section. This happened because the system UI GX toggle which is in the quick settings is disabled by default. You can simply enable it and you are good to go. Not only that, the experience of changing the colors in the wallpaper and theming section is also improved. Next, the Google camera is also working without any crashes. For my device, I'm particularly using this Gcam which is working fine for me. So the download link is given in the description below. You can go and download that and check whether this Gcam works with your device or not. Next important feature that is defined is the gaming dashboard feature. Gaming dashboard feature is released in the early releases of Android 12 but it has so many bugs. All those bugs are refined now and it is pretty smooth in this particular build. Previously when we tried to screen record from the gaming dashboard feature it doesn't work and it only records the green screen but now it is fixed and it is working flawlessly. The FPS meter is also working without any crashes. This particular feature it is not even available natively in the Android 11 or Android 10. The performance of this particular GSI is smooth compared to the previous releases like beta 1 and beta 3. But truth to be told this is a GSI which is ported from the pixel devices so we have to expect some bugs. Some of the bugs I encountered while using this particular GSI are pretty consistent from the very early releases of the Android 12. So let's see what is working and what is not. Particularly in this build, Bluetooth is not at all working. You can't even turn it on. So there goes the Bluetooth along with the nearby sharing feature. This is a new bug compared to all other bugs in this particular list which I am about to say because still beta 3, Bluetooth work perfectly fine but now something happened. In the settings app, when we search the game mode and try to enable the DND from the search results, it won't work. It doesn't even respond. But when we enter into the gaming dashboard settings and try to enable or disable the same feature, here it works. This is not a bug but some kind of UI glitch so probably Google will fix it before the public release. And there is also a serious battery drain issue in this particular build if we choose to use the glance screen feature. My device battery drained to below 10% in a single night from 100% without any usage. That's kind of hilarious right? The most consistent bug here from the first release is the media playback. This bug is a bit tricky because if you try to play the media which is already in the internal storage of your device it will play fine. There is no issue with that. But if you try to play the videos of media on Google Chrome or any other video streaming platform like Netflix or like Amazon Prime it won't work. They will simply give us an error code saying some error happened. The same thing happens with the Photos app also but here it is a little bit different. If you try to play the media which is on the Google Drive from the Photos app it won't work. It will give us the same error code. But if you download this video or media onto the internal storage and then try to play it, it will work. So it is a bit tricky bug that there seems to be some kind of issue with some other feature which may be causing this issue. So Google may fix this. We have to see what will happen next. Pretty much all the streaming apps or platforms are affected by this bug currently on this build but except YouTube. YouTube videos are working pretty fine without any issues. The next major bug is the safety net test. This build does not pass the safety net test. It literally means we cannot use the UPI apps and cannot use any payment apps on this particular bit. But there is a simple workaround. Go into settings, search for the app called Google Play Services, tap on it, go into permissions and deny the permissions for it to access our phone. That's it. All your UPI apps and payment apps must work perfectly fine. So that's it about this particular GSI based on the Android 12 Beta 4.1. So next, let's jump into the flashing process. You already know there are some prerequisites. I am telling this from many videos. Your device must have a TWRP recovery installed. If you don't know how to install a TWRP recovery on your device, there is a video I already made it available on my YouTube channel. Please go to the video, please watch it 
it may help you link for the video is provided in the description below next you must download the gsi file the link is provided in the description below it is same for each and every device and one more thing this gsi file is only for the a by b devices please do check whether your device is a by b type or a only type for a only type users please don't try this the chance of success is very very less for a by b type devices please you can use it there is a higher chance for you for it to work next you must download an android 11 custom rom which is triple compatible for your particular device this particular roms may vary with the device because pixel experience roms works aicp roms works and for some devices oxygen os roms works it depends on the device it is just like a trial and error so you have to search for the compatible android 11 triple supported custom rom so please do search for yourself i will provide some links for some devices they may work or may not work but can try it out after downloading all these files just simply reboot the phone to recovery mode by holding the power button and volume up button After entering into the TWRP recovery, select wipe, select advanced wipe and select all the options Dalvik system, vendor, data cache and internal storage and next swipe to wipe. After wiping, then change the slot to the opposite slot and do this process all over again. Like again, go to wipe, click advanced wipe, select all the options Dalvik system, vendor, data cache and internal storage and again swipe to wipe. After these steps are finished, then reboot to recovery again. After rebooting into recovery, now copy the downloaded files, the GSI file and the Android 11 custom ROM file onto your internal storage. Now click on install, select the Android 11 custom ROM file. For my particular device, I am right now using the AICP custom ROM. This may vary for your device, maybe some other ROM may work for you. So you have to do some trial and errors. Now click on the ROM and next swipe to flash. After the flashing gets completed, now please do note, change the slot to the opposite slot. So if you are already on A slot, change it to B or if you are already on B slot then change it to A. Now reboot to recovery again. After rebooting into recovery now click install and now click install image option which is in the right bottom. Then select the GSI image file which you already moved into the internal storage and now select the system image partition and then swipe to flash. After the flashing gets completed, simply select the reboot system option. Hopefully your device will reboot into the Android 12 successfully. So after that, you can connect it to internet and do all the setup process and do whatever you want. So that's it for this video. If you find this video very helpful, please do like it. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest updates. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.